Now, with cold weather here, a hot shower can be a dream, right? But if you have a house full of people, that very last person in the shower make it a chilly nightmare. So, this morning, we're talking about a way that you can wash your family's laundry, your dishes, and yourself without ever running out of hot water. And get this, you may save money while doing it. Welcome to the show, Mike Shuda from Ream Manufacturing. Now, you're going to have to tell me, how can I multitask and do laundry, dishes, and shower and never run out of hot water? We're going to talk about this morning about how you can save money, save energy, and get all the hot water that you need for as long as you need it with a tankless water heater. A tankless water heater. Now, my husband and I have actually thought about doing this at our house because we've heard some great things about it. Now, we've been doing research. There are a lot of misconceptions out there, yes, there are. about these. So I thought we might make this really fun this morning and do one of those games that we used to play when we were uh, kids. You know, you ask a, or you have a question and it's hot versus cold about how accurate the statement is, right? Okay, yeah. You know right. that game? Yeah, sure. So to make it really fun, we actually talked to some viewers about things that they've heard or read about tankless water heaters. Okay. So let's take a, a look at this first guy. Okay. If you're going to have a tankless uh, water heater, you got to have it big. It's got to heat the whole family. I got three kids. The, uh, it just won't work. Uh, little ones, I just can't see the efficiency of it, it heating up fast enough as quickly as we use it. Okay, Mike, what do you say about this? Does it have to be, do you have to have a huge water heater? On the uh, hot to cold scale, he's frozen. Oh, he's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Tankless water heaters are about the size of a medicine cabinet. They mount on a wall so you can instantly save space. Um, if you consider the conventional tank type water heater, it takes up about the space of a coat closet. So you get space, storage space, closet space, whatever you need. Especially, I bet this would be great for somebody who has the townhouse, the condo, the apartment where you don't really have a lot of space. Great application for those, for those uh, types of homes. So more room in the closet for my shoes then. Yes, you have more room in your closet. We have another uh, statement from a viewer, so let's take, a, okay. let's take a look at this one. I think the tankless water heater would probably be pretty expensive. Okay, Mike, now cost, this is a big thing. Is she, is she hot or cold on this? She's warm. Yeah. And it's, okay. it's a good question, and the, the cost of a tankless water heater is, uh, is more up front. Okay. Uh, and they need to be installed by a professional, but that shouldn't scare people off. You have to think about the long-term benefits. You also have to think about the, the total cost of uh, the size of your home and where this unit will be installed in your home. Those will impact the cost of the unit. Now, if we're talking about long-term benefits, are we talking about like energy efficiency? Are there any tax breaks, things like that? Absolutely. In fact, uh, you, you've got to first consider the comfort and convenience that Tankless provides, but then uh, the energy savings for a typical family of four are anywhere from 25 to 30 percent per month. Wow. So That's huge. So you get that benefit. There are also federal tax credits up to $1,500. Uh, when you install tankless units and then check out uh, municipal uh, rebates and tax incentives as well because those can also apply and uh, reduce the cost of the installation. We've got one more statement from a okay, viewer so let's great. take a look at that one. I'm not sure how they work but I think it's instant hot water for the whole family. Now I really love this because us ladies we don't necessarily want to know how something works we just want to know that it works. So where is she on this? Is she hot? Is she cold? Is she going to get instant water? Yes she's cold. <sighs> She's cold. She's cold. In, in fact, again, it's a common misperception. Tankless water heaters do not provide instantaneous hot water. Um, they, they sense the demand for the hot water. They turn on. The heat exchanger turns on, heats the water, and runs it to the point of use. So it's not instantaneous, but it does run for as long as you need the hot water. So when you say on demand, you're meaning that it goes on, it shuts off, and that's how you end up saving the money. Exactly. On, on in fact, power. if you compare it to, again to a conventional tank type water heater that heats uh, 40, 50, even 80 gallons of water uh, consistently, consistently uh, the energy savings from tankless comes from it only turns on and activates and heats the water when you need it. That's why they're commonly called on-demand water heaters. How long is this going to last versus a, a traditional water heater? Great question. In fact, these will last up to 20 years and that's about 10 years longer than a conventional tank type water heater. So you get the longevity savings too. Now I've actually heard that these don't work as well if you live in a really cold climate, say you're living in New England or something. Is that true? Yeah, uh, th another common misperception. In fact, tankless water heaters work just as well in cold weather climates. We just recommend that they're installed indoors versus maybe a garage or an outdoor application. Well, I would think if it's this small, it, you can find a place to fit this inside. Yes, you can. Absolutely. <laughs> maybe a kitchen cabinet. I don't you, know. You could, yes. <laughs> Great information. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you, Beth. And I appreciate you being a sport and playing a game oh, with me. Oh, it was fun. Thanks. A lot of fun to have you here. Now, if you want more information on tankless water heaters, just go to ream.com.